welcome back to another star made logic tutorial my name is bench and today we're doing another one with our seven segment display here you can see i've just loaded it in this is how it appears when it's loaded in you can grab this from a community content section um, this is the version 3 version um, just in case you're watching this and i've released a new version um, but today we're going to be building ourselves a year clock <laughs> it sounds crazy but we're going to do it so what I'll do is I'm just going to drop a couple blocks just there because um, if I grab my bounding box, you can see that's what I'm going to copy because I want the border. And if I hit copy, um, it's slightly bigger than the usual. You can see there our Y value is 13. Um, you can do it with 10 and just fill in the border yourself. You'll get basically this whole hazard box. But for now, we'll start building our, or laying out, our year clock. So this will be our year. And then what I'm going to do is just give it a little space, and then I'm going to paste, like so. And then I'm going to do three here for our days. Then I'll hit, uh, give us some space again. We'll do our hours, which look like that. And then we'll do minutes. Boom, and boom. Now, there's an awful lot of uh, logic blocks and display blocks and stuff involved in this, so uh, just make sure you've got enough to be able to produce all of it when you're doing the copying, because it's not like going into the catalogue and buying it. And there we go. We've got it laid out there. Now, what I'll do is I'll just use this for now, just to fill that in, and I'll start... I'll grab the um, white, be able to fill it in, I might grab the blue for a little later on as well. Like so, just so we can help differentiate between them. Now you could do your different days and hours and stuff in different colors and in the original video about the seven segment display you can see how you can easily do that and last one over here and there we go now what I'll do is on this side I, uh, I seem to be missing a section. That's weird. Whatever. I must have ran out of blocks for there, or it just didn't load properly. Whatever. But I'll grab a red, and I'll grab a green block, just so I can mark. And I'll make just two simple controls. I'll have one which is for clear, which will be red. And I'll have one which turns the clock on. Uh, turning the clock on, so we'll grab, hit push C on the green one. And we'll fly over to this first digit module. Um, we're still in a version which doesn't actually copy the display modules, so you're just going to have to keep an eye on where I'm flying. Uh, so it's this one here, and we're going to push V on this activation module. Oh, sorry, that's the clear. We don't want the clear. We want to push V on this top one up here. So in line there. Now we'll grab the clear, and on the clear, what we want to do is put it into each of these activation modules on the side here. So one, and this is going to clear everything ready for us to start. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Quite a long run on that one, but and you could daisy chain them if you wanted to uh, keep your circuits a bit more clean um, the next thing we'll do is that we'll set our max numbers so max numbers are set along here if I fly to the end you'll be able to see it a bit easier so we got 0 all the way up to max number 9 so for years we're going to have it at the max number now you'll notice that I'm going to do a few things that um, with regards to max number um, because of a way that this needs to be set up. So because we're counting things like days and stuff, they don't end in a 9 necessarily. So for our hours and our sec uh, minutes and our seconds, they uh, go up to 60 and then they go back to 0. Because there's 60 seconds in an hour. 
So the last digit, or the, the first digit, will actually go up to 9 in the number 59. So we'll fly down there. This one will be in 9. But then the top digit uh, won't go above a 5. So no matter what's happening, it won't go above a 5. So we can change that over here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's done. Now we only can have one activation module on. So 9 on the next one. We're doing the hours now, or minutes now. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. That one's done. But now we're up to the hours in a day. And we have 23 hours in a day. Or well, 24, but for this purpose, 23, because going to 24 resets it back to 0, because 0 is counted as an hour in our display. But what I'll do is on the second digit, you can see this digit here, I'm going to change that to be for our number 2, 0, 1, 2, like so. But I'm going to leave this one before as 9, because you can have 12 hours, you can have 9 hours in a day. Uh, you can be up to hour 9, 9 o'clock in the morning and such. So if I restrict it, I won't be able to do things. So we'll come back to that and show you how to set that up. Similarly, we're going to leave a 9 on these two for the days and actually fly over here and change the last one to be 0, 1, 2, 3, like so. Now, what we'll do is we'll link up our connections. So, if we fly over here and read the back, you'll see it says, send pulse out after number. And we want plus one, because we're adding. Time is progressing, we're adding. So we want this row. And we'll be counting from zero to nine to find the number that we want to be outputting, and we'll do some other tricks as well. So, we're starting with this first one. We'll go the nine and gate goes into the plus one, which is this one here, of the next one. We'll then take the five, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, and input it into the plus one of the next one. We'll then take the nine of that one and put it into the plus one of the next one. And we'll take the five out of that one, zero, one, two, three, four, five and put it into the plus one of the one after that. So our, we're getting seconds, minutes done, our hours are now working. Okay, and hours, what we need to do is we need to take the nine and put it in to the one there. And then our hours, we can then go and actually set it up like so. So we need to grab a end gate, which I don't have any of, which is strange. So hopefully the circuits work if, uh, if I ran out of end gates. It looks like all of them are there. Hard to tell. But where were we? So we're doing the hours here. So we're just going to chuck an AND gate just on the corner here, so we know where it is. And so the AND gate is made up of a condition, and the condition is that this number is a 2, and this one's just progressed from a 3. So we've gone from 23 hours, um, which would be 11 p.m., and we've gone back to 0, 0. So the way we set this up is we take the 2 from this, and so we're going to take... Uh, something we haven't shown in a video before, which is this 5 by 2 panel on the top. And this is constant outputs that go straight to the displays. And only one is ever on during a time, but they go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 0, 1, 2, what we can do is grab that and use it as part of our AND gate. So we're going to select that one, which counts to number 2, because 0, 1, 2. And then on the first digit, we're going to go and fly and count to the 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to select that and connect that in like that. 
And now we're going to put this AND gate into the plus one of the next one. Now because we need to also set it back to zero for this, because we've gone from 23 back to zero, what we can do is, still selecting that AND gate, we can put it into the back here to select zero on both of them. Now this is going to get a pulse from this first digit because we picked it from this AND row, and so we don't need to do any other configuring rather than just um, other than just including that AND gate there. Now we're going to do the same setup here, but for now we have also got to re-add uh, stuff in. So AND gate plus nine, uh, 9 plus 1, we'll put into the plus 1 there. And making sure you don't accidentally put it into uh, your own one. So we'll do that. Put it in here. Plus 1. And then again, we'll grab an AND gate. And so this is going to equal 364. So we'll count from the 4 um, here at the end. So this one's going to send the pulse out. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the one we'll grab. We hit C on it. And then we're going to hit V on our AND gate we've got sitting there. Now these other ones are going to be 3 and 6. So we'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, so that one we put into there, and this one's going to be a 3, so 0, 1, 2, 3, like so. Now we select that AND gate, and we're going to put it into the plus 1 over here, input of that, and we're going to use it to reset our days back to 0, like so. Now the last thing we need to do is hook this up. So we'll grab our green activation block there. And, uh, oh, no, we've, we've hooked that up, sorry. We need to grab this AND gate. And this AND gate will pulse once when we first start, and then won't pulse again. And that's what we're going to use to set the initial thing. So this one's automatically going to go to zero because the clock's in it. But the others won't, so we can go. And on the back, we're just going to select the zero, which is this one on the bottom here. And just hit V on each of them. Like so. So now that's all set up. You can see there it is all off. If I switch mode, you can see it's all off. And we'll fly over here and we'll turn the clock on. And there we go. And that'll tick away. Now one thing we'll go and we'll add is just another temporary button so that we can test and make sure that things are updating when we need to. So we'll hook this up to the back of most of these. So we'll let this one tick along and then we'll change the others. So we say we want to do uh, 59, so 9, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this back one would then be 23, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, and the next one will be 364, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3. So there we go. We've hooked it all up. You can see the clock's ticking along. And if we do, if we give this a flick, a quick flick like that, and we fly around, you'll see everything's updated. So now we've got 364 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes. And so this clock will keep ticking along. You can see there. And then when it hits 59 seconds, it'll then go, and everything should click along, and we should get our big one year right there. The good thing about this is it's not like redstone where it gets stuck halfway. If you unload the sector, yes, it's going to stop. Um, in the future, we may see that the ability to set certain sectors as not unloading, and so you could have a year clock running to show like uptime of your server. But if you're just playing on your single play and you want to see how much, how much time you've spent in there, then just keep it in the sector that you're in and it'll automatically kick back in with the same clock 
um, when you reload the server in or reload that sector in. So here we go, and there we go. We've turned it, we've made it to one year. Happy New Year! So there we go, that's how you create a year clock, and it will click along as fine, as fine and dandy as can be. You could reset it if you want. We can then go in and we can pull this off. And there we go. It was really simple to set up. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to check out more of my stuff, youtube.com forward slash bench minecraft. You can grab this component in the community content section. Uh, remember to like this video and leave a comment of some of the stuff that you've worked on. Share it around and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Star Made video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.